Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 9th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Thank you for joining me today. Welcome to another video. It's been a while. I apologize, but I'm here now, December 9th, looking at still a very quiet sun. We do have some action that was just thwarted our way from the northern region. We'll be able to see it under a different light when we get to it here, looking at 171 angstroms and showing a little bit of activity in the, the, has the heliosphere. And you can see by 304 angstroms, you can see the plasma that is dancing around the planet right now. Or sorry, the sun. Huge plasma filaments. But there was one particularly that ripped away in the northern region in one of the last frames. And you can see pretty much a wave of this filament that erupted from the northern part of the sun. This is not it, but we'll be looking at it under a different light here. Watch right here in the center. Woof. That's a big filament eruption, huge filament eruption. You can see it encompassed half of the sun as it moved north, moved south. And let's get to the earthquakes here. The last 24 hours as it's been very active. Just recently here, we had a 5.4, the Reich Jane's Ridge, 5.4, a 10 kilometer depth in the North Atlantic Ocean, just south of Greenland. We also had today a 5.6, southwest of Africa at a 10 kilometer depth. That's a pretty rare earthquake as well. That is right on the plate line, Antarctic and the Africa plate line. I'm just gonna show you here quickly where the plate line is once I get to it and do, do, do. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of the viewership again and the comments, 5.6 right on the plate line. So here, this is the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. And it's been pretty busy, but not very busy for large quakes. But we can expect that to increase here soon. The largest quake we've had the last seven days was in Albania, 6.4. But we've had a pretty deep earthquake today as well. Pretty quiet throughout North America, western parts of the Ring of Fire starting to get more active, as well as the Aleutian Islands. A small uptick in Alaska and the Aleutian Islands. So that 5.6, as I said, it's a pretty rare earthquake for this area, but watch for things to increase. Stay aware and prepared because I think we could be in for a larger earthquake throughout Alaska in the next 48 hours. Let's get to earthquakes around the world. 5.0 there in Ecuador, 4.9 here in Peru at 122 kilometer depth, 111 kilometer depth, a 5.1 in Chile as well. So some sizable earthquakes picking up and as well deeper earthquakes. Still some minor earthquakes in Albania as well here, a 4.8 in Italy, 4.2 in Greece, to 4.4 in Albania. Now there's been a few aftershocks since that large 6.0, there's just 6.4 last week. But this is the most action we've had in the last week, if you know what I'm saying. Around the world we go 5.0 here in Yongchang, China. And then looking along the Philippine and the Indonesia plate, this is where we're talking about those deep quakes. Now watch when we zoom in here to the Philippines. 573 kilometer depth, 4.5 in Palingbang, Philippines. So stay aware and prepared. We know that a larger, shallower earthquake will follow. So this was a 4.5, 570. So I'm thinking it will probably be a 7.0 or greater. And we've already seen the uptick in seismicity through the Aleutian Islands and into Alaska. So that's why I'm saying stay aware and prepared, my friends and family. Atlantic plate line and as well the Aleutian Islands. Get to the Pacific Disaster Center here. We're going to show you here 
the most latest disasters around the world. And you can see, just looking at this map, it is littered right now with icons. There's a lot going on between the volcanoes, especially the White Island volcano that went off in New Zealand. It, five people perished in that unbelievable uh, eruption. You know, a very, uh, no warning at all, no earthquakes. You know, and we've got winter storms across the western United States, Midwestern, Upper Midwest, uh, flooding across Central United States, all the fires in Australia, high winds, tropical cyclones. Speaking of tropical cyclones, we had four cyclones last week in the Indian Ocean. Did you guys know that? That's pretty crazy. I've never seen that happen. I mean, we're in the second week of December, and there's four cyclones churning on the other side of the planet? I don't think so. Something's definitely wrong here, guys. Just look at our atmosphere, looking at the clouds from above. We've got these huge low-pressure systems. It looks like a day after tomorrow. Now, this is no joke. This is what we're seeing from satellite imagery. And I've been talking about that for the last two years. And this is why I started my channel. I wanted to share my research with everybody because I see it coming. I see it coming. Here we're looking at the Indian Ocean. One, two, three, four tropical cyclones. Two of them are downgraded, but Belna is on its way to Madagascar. That's right, folks. Madagascar. A cyclone. Friends and family, stay aware and prepared. God bless you all. God bless humanity. And thank you for watching. This is here the last seven days visible image over North America. And this is where you can really see how big these low pressure systems are that are coming off the Pacific and as well forming into the Atlantic and are, are going to be affecting Europe in the coming days and as well affecting us here in Northwestern uh, America, Northwest uh, Canada and United States. So you can see both the east and the west being pelted by these huge low pressure systems, long atmospheric rivers stretching straight across the United States through the central plains, bringing lots of flooding conditions around. Devastating crop losses. The costliest crop loss season ever recorded in history. get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike, overlooking the large low pressure systems spinning around in the Pacific Ocean and they're getting stuck and uh, yeah they hit the Aleutian Islands and do not go anywhere they're too dense to go over so they just gain strength and high winds heavy snow and rain through the BC interior in the coming days a little dusting of snow through Calgary in the next few days as well but the big story is going to be these temperatures coming in behind all these low pressure systems that are coming from the north Pacific so you can see uh, Atlantic provinces and as well Quebec will be affected by that nor'easter but we've got minus 38 degrees Celsius coming in behind this large nor'easter so Watch out, Quebec and all of the Atlantic provinces. You will be experiencing some extreme weather as that nor'easter heads there. Some pretty high winds. And then watch for the cold temperatures to come in behind. As I said, minus 38 degrees Celsius throughout parts of Alberta in the coming days. Overlooking Europe here, and you can see... I mean, look at the size of that low pressure system. I Mind you, this is two or three of them spinning and joining forces. But last year they weren't this big. The year before they weren't this big. I've never seen them this big. The day after tomorrow. I recommend you seeing the movie if you haven't already. They used a computer based generated model of what weather would be like in the future. Just watch the movie. All right, so we're going to be watching 
some extreme weather affecting all of the United Kingdom throughout Ireland and Europe. Watch for high winds, extreme weather throughout all of uh, northern United Kingdom and then down into southern Europe as well into the Mediterranean. Watch for a lot of extreme weather through there. Things are really ramping up and it's kind of disturbing a little bit. I love all of you and thank you all for watching, but it's a little distressing at times watching this unfold. And if anybody else agrees with me, please get in the comment section and say, hey, you know what? Something's not right here. I agree. I agree. Overlooking a Central America, no tropical storms to talk about. Just some more snow for the upper Midwest United States. Through Africa here. You got the tropical storm Belna, who is affecting Madagascar over the next few days. So watch out, African lion safaris. They got a cyclone heading their way. They could probably use the rain. That's all I could say. But it's, it could be devastating. Very dry, desolate land, that much moisture, that much wind. They're not used to that kind of a thing. Overlooking India, things have really cooled down throughout Southeastern Asia, Southeastern Asia and as well the Arabian Sea. Heading into the Philippines, watching for a tropical depression forming later in the week could affect Thailand. A small pressure system affecting here in northeastern Australia. I really wish they would get the rain down in the south. Those fires are still raging across Queensland and New South Wales. Look at these temperatures. When it starts to turn black like that, you know it's not good. That's hot. So we got extreme weather around the world. Extreme heat, extreme cold. Mass amounts of evaporation. Central America later in the week as well. Bolivia, the daily evaporation. And right into Buenos Aires later in the week. Watch for a sizable storm to form. And as well, Argentina. High winds affecting them. Again, thanks everybody for watching today. I'm going to leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern Hemisphere. Much love to you all. Get in the comment section. I will be responding. I haven't for a while. Please forgive me. And again, much love to y'all. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.